Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Simply Clouded. Ever pondered the distinction between traditional data centers and the public cloud? The two might seem similar, but they differ in many aspects. Think of this comparison as a trip to the grocery store versus ordering groceries online. A traditional data center is like a brick and mortar grocery store. A company owns and operates it, and it's typically on the company's premises. The company controls everything, from the electricity, powering the servers, to the security protocols protecting the data. The downside, the company must handle everything, including maintenance, upgrades, and disaster recovery. It's a lot like running to the store every time you need something. It's all on you. On the other hand, the public cloud is like an online grocery delivery service. A third party provider owns and maintains the infrastructure and businesses pay for the resources they use. The provider handles all the maintenance, upgrades and security. It's the equivalent of ordering groceries online someone else does the heavy lifting. But what about control and security? With a traditional data center, a company has complete control over its data and security. It's like having all your groceries in your own pantry. However, in the public cloud, while the provider ensures security, the data is stored off premises, akin to keeping your groceries in a shared storage facility. Now, imagine a sudden surge in your grocery needs. With a traditional grocery store, you'd have to make multiple trips or hire more vehicles. But with an online grocery service, you'd simply adjust your order. That's the beauty of the public cloud scalability. It allows businesses to quickly adjust resources to match their needs. So to summarize, traditional data centers offer more control and security as businesses manage their infrastructure. They're like a brick and mortar grocery store where you do all the work but have complete control. The public cloud provides flexibility, scalability and cost effectiveness. It's like an online grocery service that takes care of the heavy lifting with the trade-off being less direct control over your items. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Some businesses might benefit more from the control offered by traditional data centers, while others might find the flexibility of the public cloud more appealing. It's all about weighing the pros and cons and choosing what's best for the individual needs of the business. Isn't it fascinating how our everyday experiences, like shopping for groceries, can help us understand complex concepts like data storage and management. Whether it's a traditional data center or the public cloud, each has its unique strengths and challenges. So the next time you're at the grocery store or ordering groceries online, you might find yourself thinking about data storage in a whole new light. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos.